T-minus one minute. T-minus fifty seconds. T-minus forty seconds. T-minus 30 seconds. T-minus 20 seconds. Hey everybody, this is Pastor Chris, and I'm ready to check you into C3 Kids.
into your eyes makes my heart come alive. Suddenly brought to life when I met you. Reaching beyond the skies, running deep, stretching wide. Perfect love realized here with you. Now the sun is for real, you will never let go, never let go Oh, it's more than just words, love beyond my control, out of control What's up? This is real love, this is real love Sing this is real love, this is real love your help with the memory verse. Now let's all keep practicing so that later on we can practice it all together again. Chocolate Unicorn. The unicorn's horn was prized in ancient lore for its magical powers. In this challenge, the contestant will become a human unicorn by building a horn-like tower of ding-dongs on their forehead. Using a single hand, the player must place them one by one to create a seven-snack cake stack. If the stack falls, they may begin again, but at no point in time may they take a bite. Failure to complete this task in 60 seconds may result in elimination. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Did you know mm. that Kit Kats are filled with other crushed up Kit Kats? So break me off a piece of that Kit Kat inside of a Kit Kat inside of a Kit Kat bar. Halftime Memory Verse! Join with me! Hebrews 4.12 For the word of God is alive and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even dividing the soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. Now it's your turn. You say it back to me. Nice work. Well, keep on practicing because we'll try it one more time. Come and see the temptation of Jesus. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. Jesus was born in Bethlehem and grew up in Nazareth, where he grew in wisdom and favor with God and man. Oh, I see. Jesus was baptized by John, and God showed John that Jesus was his chosen one. Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness among the wild animals. Oh, hey there, friend. Oh, what's over the sheep? Forty days and forty nights, Jesus didn't eat anything. So he was hungry. Satan came to him and said, Hey! If you are the Son of God, tell these stones to become bread. Jesus knew God's word, and so he answered, No! The word of God says people don't live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. And so Jesus passed the first test. Then Satan took him to Jerusalem and said, If you are the Son of God, jump off. Aww. For the word of God says he will order his angels to protect you, and they will hold you up with their hands so you won't even hurt your foot on a stone. Wait. But Jesus said, The word of God also says you must not test the Lord your God. Now. And so Jesus passed the second test. So Satan took him to the peak of a high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and all their glory. Satan said, I will give it all to you if you kneel down and worship me. But Jesus said, Get out of here, Satan, for the word of God says you must worship the Lord your God and serve only him. <laughs> then Satan went away and angels came and took care of Jesus. And so Jesus passed the third and last test. No! 
it was a great lesson. Now let's drive through three points that we learned from that story. First, we learned that God's word brings life. Here's sign language for life. Just like when Jesus remembered when he was hungry, the word is all we need. In Hebrews it says the word is living and active. How will you use God's words to speak life to someone you know? Second, we learned that God's word is powerful. Here's sign language for powerful. His power is not from us, but it's in us. It's sharp enough to separate what is earthly and what is from God. What temptation can you ask for help from God to overcome this week? Three, we learned that God's word is truth. Here's sign language for truth. We worship him because he is the was, the is, the is to come, the everything. Only God says what is right and wrong. I challenge you to read your Bible this week and listen to what God is telling you. <laughs> Let's do a quick recap. First, we learned that God's word is life. Let's speak God's word and love people to life. Point number two is that God's word is powerful. Let's do his word this week by trusting his path like a seatbelt where we find his power. Point number three, God's word is the truth. Let's listen to God's word this week and lift his name to know and share his truth. Let's all say the memory verse one last time. Hebrews 4, 12. For the word of God is alive and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even dividing the soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. Now it's your turn with your eyes closed. Are you ready? Hebrews 4, 12. For the word of God is alive and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even dividing the soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. Whew, great job. This is the last time, all on your own. Go. Job. Well, thank you all for joining us at C3 Kids this week. We'll see you next time.